Hello, this is LTR Labs. So recently, I posted a video on my first test of my cycloidal drive. That particular iteration used only a laser cut acrylic parts. The truth is I made that gearbox because I was impatient waiting for my 3D printer to finish printing the first prototypes of my design. And I remembered that I had access to a laser cutter at my university's makerspace where they also had scrap. So this is all the footage I have of that laser cut. And you might have seen the test of it. I have a small compilation of clips creating that first prototype, but I lost most of the original clips because my computer got wiped for reasons that we will not discuss. This was the first time I got it moving. I made it from some resin printed parts and went through a few iterations. I was originally going to have pins on the outer roller for the discs, but the pins I chose were too heavy. So I decided to just have the discs and the rollers both 3D printed. I also attempted to make this out of 3D printed metal, thanks to my friend who's interning at MarkForge, but I did not realize that MarkForge had 3D printed tips on how to design for their printers, so these parts didn't exactly fit together. But that's another idea I'll revisit, along with the laser cut parts. My original intention was that if I could laser cut it out of acrylic, I could laser cut it out of steel, and I want to see how that can compare in performance. Also from said friend, I've had my redesigned version of this printed out of carbon fiber nylon, or onyx as Mark Ford calls it. This time I have the correct tolerances. For my current test setup here, I have a Jetson Nano, which is uh, hooked up to my internet over Wi-Fi, which I'm going to SSH into through VS Code on my desktop. It's connected to this Arduino over Serial, and on this Arduino is the simple FOC driver board. I got that for around $20 on AliExpress. It won't be used in the final version of this actuator, but it is what I'm using temporarily to learn simple FOC control. Connected to it is this 330kV motor. And I also have an encoder attached to the back of this, mounted with some th more Onyx 3D printed parts. It's a AS5600 encoder. It's a 12-bit magnetic encoder. The magnet is glued to the back of this, and on top of it is this little motor adapter also out of the Onyx that will fit these two bolts on the back of the gearbox.